Is it possible that he's really doing something very carefully calibrated? Because you say this is targeted at one specific issue, which is the requirement that U.S. Uh, companies going into China share intellectual property. And it's not even starting the 301. It's just saying to the special trade representative, why don't you take a look at whether we should start a 301? So maybe the president's actually being fairly nuanced. It's a lot different from just saying 25 percent tariffs. Right. And unfortunately, it's hard. It's, I haven't seen, we have not seen a lot of examples of a very nuanced action on the part of this president. So I would agree with you writ large, but we haven't seen a lot of that. But yes, uh, a certain nuanced action would be very careful, could be very carefully calibrated. But at the moment, that's, that's speculation. Have we established yet as to whether the, uh, the attitude, the approach towards foreign policy regarding China and North Korea is uh, divorced from the relationship towards economic policy towards China at this point? Because the administration and members of it would be keen to say, yes, it very much is. They're two separate policies. The President of the United States has made the link himself. No, they have been strongly linked, frankly, since President Clinton, when he formed the National Economic Council and you have the National Security Council, and there and there are so there's sort of equal weight in the White House, yeah. and there's a lot of coordination between those two because they're totally interlinked at this. So, point. should we assume that this actually has consequences for policy? If China does not do something in the way that would satisfy this administration over the next several months, directly towards North Korea, that they would do something down the trade channel? I think I, I would say that would be very good speculation. I think you're going to just, they're all interrelated, they're all connected. So, Fred, this is China and the 301. We also have something called NAFTA, and they're going to start official negotiations finally on Wednesday. At the same time, the reports about what they might change in NAFTA doesn't sound that radical. How do you square that with the president saying we're going to change the trade deficit with Mexico? Well, I think that's part of the problem. I think normally the trade deficit has not been part of these trade agreements. and. You know, if you look at NAFTA as a whole, United States, Mexico, and Canada, there's actually a $12 billion surplus amongst the three nations in terms of if you had uh, manufactured goods and services. Uh, if you just single out manufactured goods along with Mexico, there's a deficit. So it's really a question of how, how you do the math and what prism you look at. Um, so I think that becomes complicated and whether it sets down markers about trade negotiations with Germany or over steel, autos and other things, that's really the consequences here.